Hey guys, I wanted to give an honest review on flying research. I was thinking about getting this tool. If you watch a video that I released about a week ago or two weeks ago, I was saying that it is an essential tool if you want to scale a print on demand, Redbubble store, whatever it might be very, very quickly. And I was about to buy it and then they messaged me and they offered me an affiliate deal. And one of the things you get with an affiliate deal is a free account. So I thought it would be a good double win for me. Firstly, I get a free account. And secondly, if you want to support my channel and you want to use this tool yourselves, then I will leave a link in the description. I'm gonna leave another link in the description, which is Jasper AI. Both of those tools together are about $70 a month for both, I think. If you're trying to scale a Redbubble store very, very quickly, and I'm talking about 60 designs a day, then they're both pretty essential tools to do that if you're not some kind of robot yourself. So what I've been doing is I've been playing with flying research for two days because I, I didn't want to just make a video and say, uh, you know, just make up some crap. I wanted to really, really research it first. And what I found to be most useful is to find a design that can easily be uh, changed into variants. So this one here, for example, 1975 limited edition. Okay. You can just change this number 1975. You can do every number from 1901 to 1999 or 2022 or whatever it might be. It's a really, really easy design to make loads and loads of. So as an example, I'm going to show you, this is how I use flying research. Okay. I just look for, I'm, I'm doing a test at the moment, guys. Okay. After the end of this month, I should have another a thousand one one thousand designs on Redbubble. that's my idea i'm using flying upload it's making everything a lot easier uh, and i also i'm using flying research to see if it actually works and yeah let's see how let's see how it goes basically but what i'm doing is just to make it easier for myself i'm looking for a design that can be easily replicated and then i'm just going on canva and i'm just making a very very simple design like this I'm I found a design uh, yesterday that was I'm awesome like my this uh, like my daughter and I thought that was quite funny uh, I thought people would buy it for their daughters or their daughters would buy it for their mothers or whatever it might be and then I actually put the text as uh, white and the background as uh, sorry yeah as white as transparent and then I put a, a sun in the middle of it or whatever, a sunset. I just got that from Canva. I've got Canva Pro and they had sunsets. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as black so you can see my process. So we're going to be changing one word. So I'm just going to put an X here and I'm just going to duplicate the page loads and loads of times. You can just click like that. And then you just want to add family members here. Okay, so you want to say daughter. I'm just going to do two as an example. I'm not going to do loads daughter and uncle okay so i'm just going to download these two so wait i need to make sure this is white and this is white okay perfect and then share download png transparent background download okay i really really like this process guys you can you can probably get this done in 40, 45 minutes 30 minutes i would say if you follow this exact process and if you pay for these two tools. If you do it manually, it's gonna take you about an hour and a half, maybe even two hours because writing uh, descriptions takes quite a long time. Okay, that will be done shortly. This was what I was doing last night, so I'm just gonna delete these. Let me show you how I got this Excel. So this is the uh, Chrome version of Flying Research, which is flyingresearch.net. When you have an account, this is what you will get. Um, you need to click on designs here and then import and then click download Excel standards. This gives you a load of files which you we can use. Uh, they're basically like the, the standards for flying upload. Um, I'll just show you the process. So if you go on Google and type in Sheets, uh, just log in with your Google account, press go to Sheets, click on blank click on file, click on import, click on upload, select, or you can just drag and drop. Uh, and then we want flying upload basic, drag that there, import.
import the data. This is now done. Show this in folder. Wait for that to load. We can delete these because they're not useful. While your folders are downloading, let me show you the uh, tag generator that I'm using. So I'm using uh, not Bubble Spider. What am I using? I am using Top Bubble Index uh, Red uh, Tag Gen. There we go. I hate Google sometimes. Once your once this is finished downloading, show this and you can now unzip this. Sorry guys, I know I do like five things at once. <laughs> I should really do one thing at a time when I'm making a video. This is just one like. Okay, so I like to show a thing. I, I just like to do things efficiently. I can't really explain it better than that. Okay, so what were the two designs that I was doing? My uncle. Whatever, I'll just pick two random ones. You get the idea. I don't think these are the two that I actually did, but whatever. So I'm going to click these two, and then I'm going to shift right click on Windows and copy as path. And then I want to do that. And then language, let's put it EN, EN. Okay, you want to write a descriptive title always. So I am awesome like. Like my son. Funny um, Mother's Day present. No, not present. Funny Mother's Day um, black and white. Um, sunset retro vintage design. The reason I'm doing that, I'm going to show you exactly why I'm doing. Well, there's two reasons. Number one is SEO. Like this is this is basically what I like to call a mega tag. Our our title is a mega tag. Okay, it's the it's the strongest amount of SEO that we've got to work with. So it's pointless to write a bad description. Okay, I'm just going to click on format here and I'm going to wrap this like that so that it's a bit easier to read. And then in the description, I'm actually going to be using uh, Jasper. Um, just because I'm lazy and if I was doing loads and loads of these, I would have to use Jasper because I just wouldn't be able to do it myself. In, that, in Jasper, if you click on templates and click on product descriptions and then just put that title there and then I just like to write Redbubble product and then generate and then it takes a couple of seconds. What I like to do is while that's loading, I like to go on top bubble index and type um, uh, mother son gift or something. I like to be a bit more specific with my searches on top of Blindex. It seems to give better results. So instead of writing like husband, just write like some kind of um, something a bit more descriptive. I like to copy 30. Okay. Uh, I think max is 50. Do not do more than 50. And then by then the description is normally done. So I just copy this and there we go. You can do this for these so quickly. It takes about, to do 60, which is the max amount of Redbubble uploads you can do in a day. It's gonna take you about half an hour, okay? I do this all day at work sometimes when we need descriptions writing. It, Jasper absolutely busts them out, okay? You don't need Jasper, you don't even need flying upload. You can do this manually if you want, but I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what I thought of this tool. So how does it actually upload? It, it Basically it opens up uh, a Chrome like this and it copies your one of your designs. So you have to upload one of the designs first. I'm not going to do this now guys. Like All you do is you upload one of the designs. So I uploaded this one here and all of the other ones are exactly the same. So you just click here copy settings, you want to copy this image, ad, no, not the image address, sorry. You want to copy the link address, and then you put this in a new Chrome tab. You need to put this here, okay? So once you've uploaded one of the designs, okay? So upload one of the designs, and then go on flying upload like this. And then there's two things we need to do here, so let's click on upload. Let's click on options, click on settings, on templates, open up Redbubble, and put that design that you've just uploaded and the link that I just showed you how to get. And then we want to go to import, import Excel, um, and downloaded 
the Excel document yet. Okay, so let's call this um, A flying. The reason I've put an A there is just so that it's easier to find, okay? Because my computer is an absolute mess. Download Microsoft Excel, download as EXL. I'm actually gonna show this in folder just so that I know exactly where it is. It's in downloads. So let's go to import, import Excel. Go to downloads. And then go to A, there we go, perfect. A flying upload, there we go. This is how it works, okay? I didn't fill in the other one, if you remember. I really, really like this. The import as XLS, whatever it's called, XLS, XLSX is, is really amazing. It's perfect for this, guys. Honestly, it makes my life so much easier. And the actual quality of the uploads is very, very good as well. It takes about half an hour, 45 minutes to upload 30 designs, so it's gonna take an hour but you can use your computer while it's doing it. All you do is click, uh, you, you also, you need to put your um, auto login here. So you click on Redbubble and you put your user and your mail and your password. And it does, you can do any of these, which is really, really cool as well. Yeah, guys, honestly, I think this is a really, really good tool. If, uh, if you're looking to expand or if you're looking to really, really push your limits as a print on demander, then definitely I think manual upload uh, is just, it's just gonna take too long. So automatic uploading is definitely worth it. Flying upload, I actually don't know how much it costs. I bet it's got a really weird pricing policy. It's got KDP as well. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be really hard to find its pricing, isn't it? Okay, so I'm looking at the pricing now. Research is not necessary. You can watch the you can watch any of my videos or anyone else's videos for research. You do not have to pay for flying research. I'm just using it because uh, they gave me it. I I would not recommend it necessarily, but flying upload is not really that unreasonable. It's ten euros. Oh my god, no, it's not. It's fifty euros a month. It's really expensive. Oh okay, single platform. Click here. So if you're just doing Redbubble or just doing. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, print, Printify or Printful on a Shopify store. Then if you need unlimited designs to a single platform, then the beginner package is the perfect choice for you. I think that's really reasonable. 10 euros a month to upload 60 designs a day to Redbubble. Super, super reasonable, guys. Make sure that you go through this process if you want to buy. Don't accidentally buy any of the really expensive ones. You don't need design management at all. Don't. I don't rate design management, I don't think it's very good. This here, the 10 euro a month one, is perfect for us if we're just focusing on either Redbubble or Shopify. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you really, really soon with some more content and peace out.